Now it is at the Texas 46-yard line. Which means it is a 64-yard field goal attempt. Wind that is back. Ertzleben kicks it up. End over in, and it is good. 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 64 yards by Wilson though, the biggest play came just before halftime, when kicker Jose Martinez was brought onto the field to kick a 64-yard field goal, the second longest in NCAA history. Franklin booms this 64-yard field goal, longest in NCAA history. In the third period, Franklin kicks this 65-yard field goal, breaking the NCAA record he set in the second quarter. Snap down. Grammatica's kick is up. The kick is long enough. The kick is good. He knocked it in there. 65-yard field goal for Marti Grammatica. It's a new Kansas State record, and the Cats will go to the locker room with a 59-7 lead. Slavin once kicked a 67-yard field goal, still a record. He's the only man named an All-American punter three straight years. Now, he may be kicking himself for being indicted on eight counts of wire fraud. Security With the ball at midfield, little convinced Arkansas coach Lou Holtz he could make it. And Holtz sent the kicking team onto the field. Little put his tee down at the Arkansas 43-yard line and then backed up his claim. I really didn't realize how far it was until I got out there and set my tee down and I looked up and I said, God, this is a long ways. But uh, I was just thinking about three points all the way and uh, you know, I had my mind concentrated and I couldn't hear any of the fans or anything. It was just like me and myself and my teammates out there and uh, it was a good snap and Bruce Hay got a great hold on it and the rest was up to me and I kicked it and uh, I got a good kick on it and the rest was just sent, stood there and watched it go through that drive. The 67-yard field goal was true.